Dr. Robinson to tell us how we can recover from ailments. We can treat our families. We can, Father, be strong to do your work. Lord, many of us are passing through unchallengeable sicknesses. I pray that with this knowledge, we will win over them in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. Grant the doctor good memory of what he needs to pass on to us. And let us appreciate his words. In Jesus' name, we we'll pray. This is the mark of a wise and visionary minister. The mark of a wise and visionary minister is the title of our discussion. Paul said of himself, I am a master builder. He knows what to do to raise up people for God, to encourage people in the name of the Lord. A wise and understanding minister. Yes. In Colossians chapter 1, verse 28 and 29, he said of himself that he was a wise builder. Verse 28, whom we preach, warning every man and teaching every man in all wisdom that we may present every man perfect in Christ Jesus. Whereunto I also labor striving according to his walking, which walketh in me mightily. Paul applied wisdom in raising up people for Jesus, bringing people to the perfection of God. And he said wisdom as a wise builder he employs all methods to give sufficiency to his followers. Wisdom. In Ecclesiastes chapter 12, it tells us what a wise preacher can do. Yes, it says in Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 9 to verse 11. And moreover, because the preacher was wise, he still taught the people knowledge. Yeah, he gave good heed and sought out and set in order many proverbs. The preacher sought to find out acceptable words, and that which was written was upright, even words of truth. The words of the wise are as gold and as nails fastened by the masters of assembly which are given from one shepherd. The preacher was wise. He taught the people knowledge. Truly, what I am doing in open had been in secret because I saw that some ministers, if not many, 
will not want to bother themselves about people's health, knowledge of health, especially the varied methods of healing. Maybe some of these people are afraid because they may be challenged that they were going outside the scope of scripture. They may be accused of demonism. It's likely. So they have nothing to do with outside there, outside praying for the sick, teaching them faith. They don't bother about teaching them other methods, legitimate, that God has provided for the sustenance of his own people. For all things are yours. That's what God says. But it became a kind of a compulsion in me to ensure the people of God should know truth, should receive understanding, to give them benefit, both spiritual and in the physical. This helped me to write the book on Christianity and medicine. That is God's healing through faith and medicine. And more than that, I keep bringing people that will add to your knowledge in the maintenance of your health and in the cure of your sickness. To the point God has opened for us a clinic that is doing very relevantly. Solving problems others could not solve for us, for our members. Now, we are going to listen to a talk by a particular brother I came across recently. Uh, I appreciate him. I was introduced to him that he is knowledgeable in Chinese medicine and can just by way of massaging bring healing to the people. And this is wonderful. So, hearing of this, I quickly invited him to come and give us a talk. Uh, give us a seminar. He said he was going to charge each participant 50,000 naira. But later when he was told it is church, not a business uh, organization. He said, okay, he would come and minister to us and we would give him whatever uh, he, we decide to give him. And the man is doing wonderfully. In his talk with the hospital staff, his teaching is achieving a great result. And my interaction with uh, both the hospital staff and the clients that came to the hospital, the patients, I'm receiving good results. A particular woman came to the hospital day before yesterday and was walking as uh, a paralyzed person, as if the knees were coming together. Uh, this woman did not have feeling in her foot or legs, such that if, uh, such that in her movement, in her walk, 
Her legs can come out of the shoes and she will not know. No, she will not know. Because there was no feeling at all. It, there was numbness. So, she came to the hospital. A little walk this man did on this woman. The woman started walking straight. Massage. He ran his hand through the woman and discovered the oku, oku points. And by massaging them, the leg of the woman became straight. She started walking straight. This is not a thing that just happened to the woman in one day. She came like that. And she got it instantly, like a magic. And the woman, I asked her, walk, let me see. She walked straight, sitting there wondering. I said, imagine what had happened to her. <laughs> this is mystery. When he was lecturing the staff in the hospital, one of them was not concentrating because of headache that was troubling her. She said, woman, what's your problem? I see you're not concentrating. I have headache. Oh, you have headache? Okay, come. Massaging the lady right before them as lecture was going on, she recovered completely. I went to sit down properly to continue with lecture. <laughs> One patient, too, came to the hospital. She could not lift up her hand. But by massaging, she started lifting out her hand. So, this brother has first aid solution to various problems. Hypertension, diabetes, arthritis. In fact, telling you about stomach ache, emergency stomach ache that comes on you, how to stop it? How to locate Stop your the stomach bite or stomach ache that comes to you. What about sinuses? This running nose with blood. How to locate the ocu, ocu, acu points? Acu. Thank you. I am looking. At, I'm getting at the word uh, newly. Acu. Okay. Acu. Acupuncture point. Okay. Acu point. And begin to massage it. He said your nose will dry, even if this running nose like this. <laughs> Your nose will dry. So it's another thing. And we have Pastor Okosa sitting down here who is, uh, is partaker of the first resurrection. The man has labored on uh, our beloved Pastor Okosa and he said it is working. But he said only you have to be very, you have to be tough yourself. Because the way you handle your leg, if you're not patient, yes, yes, Pastor Kosa will hear you. Come and tell us. Hallelujah. The Lord is faithful. We have been receiving from the Lord by what the Lord is doing through our international director. It was on Wednesday that the man uh, showed forth in a prayer meeting. And then uh, he just asked, anybody with a headache here? You can't turn your neck. Somebody raise up hand. There, I also raise up my hand. He said I should come to the clinic the following day. But he will work on the one that had headache. The following day, I went to the clinic to see him. I complained waist pain and knee pain. So he took me inside and then uh, he said he will work on my one leg. I said, okay. Brethren, you need to know how to endure pain. 
to be able to receive the healing yourself. Because his hands are iron. When he wears this glove and touches you, I didn't know what he was really trying to do. He will go over the, the, the toes and pinch them. And he's very sensitive and painful. So I asked him why. He said he's trying to find out the nature of my leg through my toes. And when he finished it, then uh, the work started. He located here, he touched it. He said, if I didn't shout, that means there's a problem somewhere. So when I shouted, he said, that's okay. It took over 35 minutes to walk on my waist and on my knee. And when he finished, there is one, he said, that one is bicycle. You have to practice it every morning. Yes. You lie on the bed and you use your leg like you are riding bicycle. When you are tired, you rest. And then you ride again, you ride again. We did all that. But the good thing about it is that when he finished and caused me to squat down and get up, this my right leg never showed like he had any problem at all. It was my left leg that uh, he didn't walk on that could not get up. So I want to confess that uh, it's working. And nobody who had come to that place will say it's not working. The only thing that you have to be strong to endure, the massaging. Uh, because some massaging has uh, degrees, like headache. You will not cry for that one. But when it has to do with bones, he, he said that my bone was weak. My leg bone was weak. So he massaged it, massaged it, till he became strong. Yes. And uh, my leg was not uh, balanced. One was becoming bigger. I didn't know that one. He massage it, massage it. Even the people in the clinic say that the leg has become normal. I mean by massaging the body. The, this same leg becoming normal with this one. So I want to confess that we need to go, uh, come to Horimo and receive this blessing. That the Lord is, in fact, you don't need to talk. Just say, what's your problem? And uh, I want to encourage us before we go, we can have a test. The Lord will bless us in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you. Also, we, we were a number of people that were going through post treatments. And there was this friend that was sharing with me that he was booked three times for operation and that it was about 500 to 1 million. So he came down here and there are this engine that will uh, vibrate your low abdomen. No medicine. You just vibrate it for one hour or 35 minutes. And then my friend, a brother from Horimo from Kogi State, he's so, he's so okay that if you hear his testimony, you know God has really touched him. Because he was saying he wondered what would have happened if he had gone for the operation. That he had to come to Horimo the day they book him for the third operation, he said, no, let him come to the clinic, the hospital. And I want to tell you, he gave testimony on Sunday or so, and people were happy. So the Lord is doing so many things through these uh, uh, various ways of treating uh, people. And my joy is that they fear that a pastor should not take medicine had left many of us. Because your genius will tell you uh, he had not taken medicine for the 35 years he had been pastoring. 
So for you to take medicine, you will feel that you don't have faith. And you'll be dying in silence. But uh, our daddy has helped us to know that taking medicine and receiving treatment is not a sin. So we need to, this opening of our eyes is part of what God is doing, not only through, through the word of God, but various areas that nobody has ever gone into. The Lord has touched our international director, Daddy Pasoreka, to venture into these areas, and people are coming. There was, uh, a doctor was treating a man that uh, after I left, his BP was so, so high, within five or 10 minutes, the thing was, he didn't need, to, he didn't take any medicine. He was just touching him, and his BP came down normal. He didn't take any medicine. He was just touching the man here and there. He asked them to tell, they would say, it's come down to so, so. He continued to touch the man till the BP of the man came down normal. So, there are so many things that uh, the Lord is doing in Horimo, which you need to come and, you know, test for yourself. And also, I want to say that he has become an avenue of bringing people to the Lord. I went down to the clinic uh, last week to share the word of God with them, to also let them know that uh, it's not just the issue of receiving treatment, receiving treatment. That the reason God brought them to, to the hospital is that they will receive the treatment and also receive salvation. Because that's the key thing that God has in mind in opening the, the hospital. And many of them, you know, were happy. And the, the kind of prayer they pray in the morning there, you also know that God is at work. And that uh, they confess that it's not only just the medicine, that God is doing miracles there. I want to say that the Lord our God has been very faithful to us. I, I climb the step now very strong. Before, hmm, ah, the Lord is faithful and merciful. To God be the glory, to him be the honor. I want to appreciate our daddy for what God is doing in him. Without feeling about these people to bring them. Even though we brought one that do post, but the other ones are so good too. So we bless God for his faith to get us through these things. And we are receiving and we are being blessed. To him be the glory, to him be the honor. We appreciate all that the Lord is doing for us here in Jesus' name. Amen. Uh, we appreciate also the spiritual nature of uh, Dr. Robinson. I see that he has a good knowledge of the scripture. And I appreciate it so much. And he applies it in his lecture. And uh, it, you will enjoy him. So, without waste of time, Dr. Robinson, are you ready? Okay, two some minutes. It's okay. Our hospital is doing very well. Uh, handling prostate cancer has become uh, a normal miracle. The machines are producing normal. A man, yes, a man testified among us on Monday, which is. Uh, three days ago how you ready okay he came here from a hospital that charged him about uh, one million naira for post operation huh? okay and they even told him it's 50 50 but here the post has been shrunk away and dissolved by the post cancer machine. He is free and rejoicing. Not only this man, the testimonies have been many. So we are very happy for what the Lord is doing and other healing, even a paralysis, a stroke. He's also receiving answer. Thank God, even with Dr. Robinson, he treated some people with stroke. 
who came to the hospital. So the hospital now has homeopathic treatment. He does homeopathy. Uh, what party again? Na natural natural party. Uh, what other party? Okay. Now herbal medicine that's a natural party dealing with natural herbs and natural drugs, not chemical. This one now is acupressure that is coming to add to this hospital. I, I, it is traditional Chinese ministry. Sorry. <laughs> traditional Chinese medicine. Uh, a branch of it, as you said. And it's working. And it's teaching our staff so that we should be equipped. Apart from using the conventional drugs uh, and treatment, which we also do. So it's our prayer that the Lord will bring people to himself through this hospital. In Jesus' name. Thank you very much. So, Dr. Robinson. Let's praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I want to thank our daddy for giving me this opportunity to be here. And also to every one of us that are seated, those that are following online. I say, may God bless you in the name of Jesus. Okay, we are going to look at what's called the traditional Chinese medicine, TCM. And we are going to look at some necessary things that we need to understand when it's come to TCM. And this medicine is one of the most beautiful things in the world I can ever appreciate. As the name implies, traditional Chinese medicine. Traditional Chinese medicine. It's very beautiful. It is traditional. And it, it has the principles of the Chinese medicine. That's to say that when you hear about traditional Chinese medicine, we are talking about naturopathy. We are talking about the kind of medicine that can help you, equip you. Now, what we do is this in traditional medicine, number one, we diagnose, we treat, and we prevent. You know, we, we diagnose. Traditional Chinese medicine, number one, it diagnoses, it treats, and it prevents. Okay, so... We have different types of punch. We have different types of acupoints. All right, different, different types. But this evening we'll just look at few. Okay. Now we'll look at some few acupoints. Number one acupoint we're going to look at is for fainting. For fainting. Okay. Can you please show me? Okay, let's continue. For fainting. Now, when somebody just stay and the person just faints, okay, there's an acupoint. The acupoint is below the nose. The nose. Look at it here. Look at it here. Now, if you look at your nose, you will see, uh, how do I call it? This space. Can you see it now? You, you can feel it, right? Just pressure. Clockwise. Pressure. 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 You see, if you are doing it very well, clockwise, pressure, you have some sensations. Sensations. Are you feeling the sensation? You pressure. Not too hard, okay? Just pressure. You have some sensations. Okay? Now, someone is fainting. It's called GV26 or Versus 26. That is the acupoint you pressure. Okay. No, not this. You see a nose. You see a nose. That is it. Now, can you see it now? GV26. Can you see the echo point? So, GV26, you pressure. As you pressure, you see, the person will be revived. 
Okay? But in a situation where the case is very terrible, we advise that you seek medical attention. All right? Get back that. This. If you look at it now, we have one on top of the nose. It's called, are you seeing it now? One on top of the nose. You can see the yellow dot, right? The second one, take it back a bit. The, the one on top of the nose is GV25. You will see another one on top of, under the nose, just here. GV26. Then you see the one on top of the lips, right? It's GV, GV27. That's Governor, Governor 27. Now, what we are looking at is the one on the, yeah, not here, it is here. We have one, we have one, you see, on top of the nose, one, two, and three. Can you see now? One, two, and three. So what we are talking about is the one at the middle. Yes, in the middle is GV26. No, we are not talking about that one yet. So if you do this now, you can be able to, just that spot, you can be able to revive someone that is fainting. Okay? All right. We also have the one for stroke. For stroke. Now, you know, stroke is a kind of disease that sometimes it happens suddenly, but it happens suddenly. And most persons that have stroke, depending on the kind of stroke, they are, they are, they are having, um, maybe they are hypertensive, you know, and some of them is through accident, depending on the kind of, the, the kind of stroke the person has. Now, things like this, issues like this, the first thing you do when you notice that someone has stroke, first of all, verify if the person is diabetic. If not, if the person is not diabetic, get a new uh, pin that no one has used and then pierce it on the fingers of the person. Yes, fingers, the five fingers, and then allow the blood to flow. Now, look at what happens. That little blood that comes out clears the narrow in the brain. No, just it can do one, it can do two, no problems. So that little blood, like one of the persons that they brought to the holistic hospital, we were having lectures before the person came. So after that, I went to see him, then he had a stroke a day. They took him to the hospital, but it wasn't working. So they have to bring him down to the holistic hospital. So when I asked them, they say just a day and few hours old, and I got the pin, and then I I begin to, you know, I I I pierced the fingers, and I begin to pressure out. You notice that the blood is cold, and it is very thick. We have to push out all because all the ends we are swollen. We have to push everything out. Now that we were able to do that, the man began to get revived. He's still there. He wasn't talking. But at least now, when you talk to him, he can respond. Okay? So when we did that, the following day when I went, the hand was a bit swollen, and I did the same thing again. And what I noticed is that the blood was now fresh. Not thick and cold. Okay? Now for those that have stroke, you no know, stroke is not a kind of disease that you would just want to get the result. But if the thing happened immediately, you did this, you do what I've just said now. You see, you have a faster risk. The person will revive. Okay? But if maybe you come across maybe something like what we are saying now is maybe an emergency. It just happened in the house. Quickly do that. But maybe if it is two, three days or above, okay, you can begin to apply the pressures like we have uh, the GB34. But before then, before then, Stroke don't just come, it will give you a sign. Please, if you are feeling constant headache and you are hypertensive, seek medical attention. Don't sit down at home and say, it is well with me, it is well with me. We know it is well, but seek medical attention. None of these diseases just come to you. Okay? They come upon manifestation. Alright? So seek medical attention. Okay, so let me get the leg. We have two legs there. Let me get the diagram. It's called GB24. I mean 34. Okay? Now, this will help the motor function of the leg. When you begin to apply pressure, okay, you know, it's called paralysis. So, one side of the body will be paralyzed, including the face. Okay? 
So what you have to do is when you pressure that spot I'm talking about, immediately you will see that the person it will enable the person's uh, movement. The person will be able to move. All right. Now for those persons are, that are paralyzed, now look at it. Okay, you can pressure. If you're able to pressure on that spot, just put your finger this way. The last finger is the place. Just put it around your news. Just place it. The last finger there. Okay. Look at it there. You have to pressure clockwise. 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 Can we get it? Can somebody come? Let me just do an illustration. Okay. Somebody should come. Let me do an illustration. You just understand what I mean. Praise the Lord. Please, can you look at it this way? Okay. Can you see my hand now? Right? Can you see my hand? This is it. Did you see my hand? This is it. You see? It will help. Thank you. It will help the person for movement. And it has to be done at least 30 minutes. You do it for like 30 minutes. 30 minutes every day. You see, you'll be noticing improvement. Okay? For stroke. Now, when we talk about paralysis, you notice different kinds of paralysis. Okay? Now, uh, most times you see the face. The face will be, will be paralyzed. You know? Now, what we are doing is traditional Chinese medicine and not the orthodox medicine. Okay? So, what we will say may vary to what the, med the medical field may say. Okay? We'll say rather. So, you see the face. Sometimes it will fall, right? Now we have an echo point here, just by the mouth. Just by the mouth. By the mouth here. Okay? You pressure. Just stimulate. Stimulate. You will see that. Now, the side you are going to pressure should be the side that is fallen. If it is this way that is fallen, you pressure here. Uh, no, not up. Here. By the mouth here. At the end side of your mouth. When you pressure, you see that gradually, the elasticity of the mouth will be coming back. And it's easy to be coming back. Okay? Alright. For headache, headache, we have different, different acupoints for ache. We have what's called the L14. Okay? It's just the ear loop here. Under the ear. That's one. Okay? Under the ear. The ear under the ear loop. That's one. We have another one at the temple. The forehead. Here. You pressure. Okay. Can you give me the, the other one? You will see the edge. No? Okay, yes. That is it. That is one of it. TW17. This is TW17. You can see it. Okay? This helps to get rid of ache. That's one. And two, we also have here. When everybody do your hand this way, do it this way, this way. Look at look at me. This way. Tight it. Tight it this way. Look at my hand. It's closed. Camera, please, can you show my hand very well? My hand is, if my hand is not this way, it is Close this way. Somebody should come. Let me use the person for example, please. Just come. One person should come. Look at the hand. It is closed. Did you see now? What we are looking for is just... Show the camera. It's just this part. Do you see? This part... Okay, let's make it easier. When you close your hand, you will see a puffed up, a puffed, that puffed, okay? That's where you stimulate. For headache too. Okay? You can stimulate here for headache, for any form of pain. Look at it. For at least three to five minutes. Thank you, sir. For headache. You know, I've been working all through and... I noticed that I had ache. So what I did was, 
my two ends are active. And I would not want to leave my, my patient I'm working on. And I was using a massaging machine. So I raised the pipe to my head so that it can touch here. The back of my head here. So when I raised it, it was vibrating there while I was using the, the machine to do, or to do the massage. But the vibration was not affecting there. Just within a few minutes, the headache left. Okay, so headache is not a disease. I'm begging us. It's not that you have slight headache, you go to the pharmacy for uh, paracetamol and all of it. We're not saying that it is bad. We're not kicking against the medical science, but all what we are saying that we ourselves, we know how these things are dangerous to us, excessive intake of these things. But what we are saying is that there are some things God has placed in you as a human being. God has placed these things in you. All what you need to do is to do know the mastery. Apply them. It works. Without you taking any medication. Imagine somebody is having headache for a long time. Having my migraine for like three months. Taking all manner of medications and it's not working. The migraine keeps coming. And then you just apply this thing and migraine is gone. How would you feel? You'll be so happy. And for you to have this knowledge, it's good for you to extend it to others. Praise the Lord. Okay. We also want to talk about joints. Many persons stand for too long, like pastors, stand for too long to teach the word of God. You know, it is good that sometimes while you are standing, you may have pain. You don't need to, uh, like, begin to, um, you know, get worried or say you want to go to the pharmacy to get medication. Yes, it's good you go to the pharmacy to get medication, but instantly that point, you can be able to work on your pain before you go for medical uh, checkup or attention. Okay? You can immediately arrest the pain at that point. Okay? Before you go for medical checkup. Okay? For joint pain or muscle pain, you know, we have, we have a powerful... Um, Aqua points. Now, check. There is another leg. Check. I think I sent to you. This aqua point is at the back. At the back. At the back. It's not there. Okay, somebody should come. Let me do it. Let me show you. The aqua point is at the back. Now, look at the leg. Okay? You will see this, right? Now, just at the back here, here, all you need to do, stand this way, look here. You see this toe here? Don't do it this way, do it this way. Come here, raise it up. Place your hand, the kneel. Here it is. Okay? You stimulate this point. Thank you. Stimulate that point. Okay, I'm going to make all the pictures available. Okay, I'll make, I'm going to make all the pictures available. You, you stimulate the point, keep stimulating it, keep stimulating it. You see that the joint pain, mostly if it is new pain, see it going off. Okay, now the hand too, we see just on the joints of the hand. You will see the side that is as if there is erosion, right? Your hand, just the elbow. You will see the, the side that is as if there is erosion. Straight it this way. Can you feel this other side? I see there is erosion. Now, by just on top of it, before the muscle, that is the acupoint. You stimulate for things on the hand. Okay? Yeah. So, it's as beautiful as this and as simple as this. Okay. Now, for, for hypertension or hypotension, some persons may just have hypertension. Maybe their BP may just rise in the night while they are sleeping and no way to go out. What will you do? Will you just leave the person? No. All you have to do is to look for a way to... We need to stabilize the person. So you need to make sure these persons are being stabilized before they seek medical attention. Now, how do we achieve this? We have an acupoint called the Chen Shu. Okay, sorry. The Zun Zan Li. It's called Zun Zan Li. Okay? The Zun Zan Li is still located at the leg for hypertension and hypotension. That 
that point you can also use to get rid of pain. Okay? That point you can get rid of pain. It's also for pain and also for hypertension or hypotension. It's called Zu. Z Zu Za. Zu San Li. Yes. No, sir. Okay, I'm going to show us two aqua points. One under the foot, okay? Then another one on the trouser. All you need to do is to place your hand this way. Okay? Just under the knee. No, the first one was this way. This one is now this way. Now the last the last finger is this. This is the last finger. And this is the point. You stimulate it. Okay? Then another echo point is there. Can you remove your Okay, this aqua point is very important. In fact, I'm going to show us small aqua points now. Let him just stay with me. So we're we'll just using for the practical throughout. Thank you, sir. <laughs> okay, better. Better. Okay. Let's get that one so he can use for his legs. All right. So while we are you know, introducing all this, it's because sometimes some things may happen. Some things may happen and you don't need to, and you are not close to medical facility. What do you do? Will you allow the person to die? No. Some of them might just faint and there is no way for you to take the person to hospital. Will you allow the person to die? No. You have to help the person, revive the person. All right. So keep your leg this way. Now, I want to show us a very important echo point. You are having blood pressure, hypertension. The first thing you will do is this. Okay? Rub the leg of the person that is having hypertension. I'm sorry. Any of it. Any of it. Any, whether left or right. I'm sorry. I'm not putting on gloves. But let me just do this. You rub the leg. Just this way. What I'm going to do now. While I am rubbing, I'm generating heat. Now, in traditional Chinese medicine, the heart and its vessel are known as yang organs. Okay? So what they do is that if there is yin in the heart, the blood will congeal. And that's what causes hypertension. So what we do to get rid of this thing is to create heat. Today I was working on a man in the, in the hospital. The man's leg was so swollen. I think you are there, sir. The man's leg was so swollen, but after working on him, very swollen, after working on him, the leg came down instantly. Everybody was like, ah, so this leg can go down like everybody was just surprised. The leg just went down. Why? Because already the blood is not flowing very well. I have to make it flow. Maybe I made the blood to flow. Everything went down. Some persons, because their blood is not flowing very well, they may not even know that they are not, um, they may put on shoes. And while they are working, it will fall off unknown to them. Right? And they'll be moving with beer. And someone asked telling that you are not wearing shoes before they will know. Do we understand? No, it happened severally. We've treated more than five persons with that, with that case. Okay? So what we have to do is to make the person, first of all, understand if the person has the feelings. We know how we do it. We pressure on it to see which of the, which of the finger that is not having feeling. Then after that, we work on it and the feeling comes. Basically, what to do is to generate heat. Okay? So, I have to generate heat by rubbing. When I rub, I generate heat. Then after that, just look here. You see the partition here? Okay? This is an echo point. Very important echo point for you. You pressurize. I mean, you, 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 you pressure it. Pressure gradually, clockwise, clockwise, clockwise. In fact, you don't need to be sick to do this. 
You don't need to be sick every day. You have to do it. It will always regulate your BP. But don't just be doing this and forget about your medicines. We are talking about BP first. I have not entered sugar. Okay. So while you are pressuring, you see, it will drop. Not that your BP is very high, maybe 200, and you expect it to just, while you are pressuring, to just drop to normal. It's going to drop gradually. It cannot drop at once. If you continue, gradually it will drop. And we've done it severally in the hospital. And we've been able to drop BP in different ways. And you see BP will just drop. Because I need to work on a client and the BP is high. Will I wait for the BP? No, I have to drop the BP. Without using medicine. There are lots of clients that, I mean, uh, patients that we need to work on. And their BP was very high. Because if I work on a client, I will check the BP. If the BP is very high, will I fold my hands and wait? No. I have to drop the crash down the BP to a normal, at least to a better uh, figure so that I can work on the person. Okay? So, yes, yet, yet, it, it may not work. And within five minutes, it's down. Yes. We have testimonies. At least it. Let's say if the BP is, um, uh, let's say, 200, I will pressure on it for, let's say, five minutes, it may come to 150. It may come to it to drop. Okay? So when we do this, now, what you need to remember, your nerves end here. The nerves. Okay? So you must make sure See, before I continue, if you know you are walking around your house or on the tire with barefoot, don't do it again. We are supers. Please, sorry, I will let me digress a bit, okay? Many, pers many women may be having hormonal imbalance and menstrual cramp because of this. Some persons have arthritis and rheumatism because of the towels. The towels, you own your AC with your towels, everywhere is cold, and you'll be even in your bathroom. To feel cool is dangerous. Please wear surplus at home when you are in the house. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Now, for some person that for, for some person that are having kidney issues, maybe the person is maybe uh maybe the creatinine is high or potassium or you know and the person is having a crisis and there is nothing you can do you can't take the person to hospital that time you need to stabilize the person we need to look for the kidney pressure on the kidney if you do that you see that the person will be a bit stabilized then you can take the person to the medical facility okay now how do you do that look at this we have one two three one two three look Push this away, push this away, the middle of this, middle of these two, okay? Okay, middle of these two. Now, when you are driving, okay, you will get to a spot where there is a speed bump, like to kill the speed, you have to jack up and go down. Am I right? Now, from these two fingers, you pressure down. You will feel that same bump, like... So that up is the kidney. You pressure it. Or some people that cannot urinate. You find it difficult to urinate. When you get the kidney, it should be somewhere around here. It just go. It's your urinary tract. And then you pressure. Okay, you pressure. If you can you find it difficult to urinate, some people that are having prostate. No, this prostate comes most times in the ninth, right? You just be surprised. It didn't just happen. And you want to urinate and, ah, it's not, you know. Oh, you don't shout. Don't panic. Don't cry. Don't, you know, just pressure on the kidney, you know. And then, in traditional Chinese medicine, when somebody is having this kind of issue, when you talk about fertility or infertility, rather, uh, prostate issues, and uh, and uh, urinary tract issues. 
the organ responsible, the system responsible is called the KB. In the medical field, there is nothing like KB. KB is kidney and bladder. In traditional Chinese medicine, all the systems are in pairs, like the SS, the LL, the KB, the LG, the HS. Okay? They are all in pairs. Okay? Now, the KB is what I have demonstrated. Maybe you're able to work, whether infertility, just keep working on the KB. You see that? To be normalizing. Like I said, it's not an immediate stuff. It's a gradual process. If you know how to do it, you do it very well, you see that you have a faster result. Okay? All right. Now, that is for hypertension and hypotension. We have another for diabetes. You know, what we eat is necessary. We need to know what we eat. Many of us, we eat to belly full and not to belly wise. Let's do this again. Diet is spelled D-I-E-T. Remove the T, you have what? Die. The T is the time taken to checkmate the kind of food that you eat. Don't just eat because it is food. Eat because it has nutritional value. If you just eat because it is food you end up having one challenge or the other. So, do you know that most of the illnesses that we have today in the world is because of the food that, people, that we eat? Diabetes is not what you put into your mouth. Apertension is not what you put into your mouth. I know when these sicknesses come, they come with their brothers. Because they, 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 they don't work together. They are in legion. <laughs> Praise the Lord. <laughs> By that, you know, diabetes might come with obesity or dehydration. You see a person very tiny. Or you see, by that, the person may have prostate issues, diabetes, prostate issues, osteoporosis, and hypertension, stroke with falling. That's how you see some people, they have diabetes, hypertension, kidney dysfunction, and, uh, and uh, 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 prostate enlargement. Only one person. So you can imagine, these things are very important. If you know these things, we'll be saving lives. The ratio of humans dying, people dying, is too much. And many of them, it's not that what is clean, there is not even too, too, not just, not a very big thing, just a little thing. Just a little thing. But they just die. And by the grace of God, we are here to see how we can impact life and save lives. Now, diabetes. Okay, get up, sir. Stand. We have a place called the calf. I prefer practicalizing it than showing the picture. The calf. Please come, sir. No, no. Stand up. Up so that you can pick. You know the calf, right? If you are always massaging your calf. Okay. Yeah. If you're always massaging your calf, you will, not, you will see that your, your sugar will not be high all the time. Always massage it. And then, sit again. Sit again. Bring your leg up here, sir. Yes, sir. In your feet. You see here, the big toe, under the big toe. If you can massage. Five minutes, three minutes. Just massage. Massage. You see, you bring down your sugar. But it's not that, like, it's not that to just, like I said, run immediately. But gradually to break it. To break it. Okay? No, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You know, these things don't have side effects. They are natural. They don't have side effects. So, God allowed these things to be in our body for us to use them. So that we can be in good health. That's what the Bible says. My people suffer because of what? Lack of knowledge. When there is a lack, when there is a lack, you see people running to Egypt. When there is a lack, people run to Egypt. But God is telling us today, don't run to Egypt again. Come back, come back, come back. He's calling you. Because he's giving you an idea. 
It's opening your eyes to some things that you don't know. So that you can, you can live long. Be strong and serve him better. You know, when you talk about Christians, many of us, because of stress here and there, preaching the word of God, don't take care of ourselves. This one is having hypertension. This one is having this. This one is having this. And we begin to ask some people, we begin to ask, oh God, where are you? God is not far from you. The Bible says the hand of the Lord is not short that he cannot save. Neither is he a heavy that he cannot hear. It's just that our iniquities, our ignorance is the problem. Okay? All right, let's continue. We're also going to check dizziness. A lot of things can cause dizziness. Okay? Maybe malaria, typhoid, and every other issues too. You know, we have a lot of things that can lead to dizziness. Okay? But we also have this T17. TW17. That thing means that TW17. Okay, it means triple warmer. Here. Now, tell us, sit down, sir. Tell us how you feel when I do it, okay? You are going to tell us how you feel, right? Okay, I'm going to do it for just for a few seconds. Let's see how, let's hear how it's going to feel. Okay, tell us. Give, put the mic. It's affecting my throat. It's affecting your throat, right? It's as if, good. You see now, it's going to cough. He will cough, he will cough, he will cough, he will cough. Church, praise the Lord. He will cough, he will cough, and you see, say, it's affecting my throat. And his saliva will be going through all his mouth, all his mouth. You see him. You see that the dizziness will clear off. And you will become normal. Okay? Why he's coughing, it will activate every nerve inside of him. And then another one is this. Maybe. Okay, I don't want to show his tongue in public, okay? Let me don't... Yes? Okay. Okay, bring out your tongue. No, take it inside a bit. Take it inside a bit. Like, like look this, look this. Just bring it out a bit. Okay, I have bite it. Bite it. Bite it. Now, why you are biting the tongue? Okay, bite is very as if you want to cut it, but don't cut it, please. It's painful. Now, do you know what happens after a while? He will feel headache. If there is any form of narrowing around his head, that may lead to hypertension or will lead to stroke. Why he bites the tongue? This is quite different from medical science. What is going to happen is that all the body will be active. He will receive ache. He will not receive ache. You see, he will have a pump. Boom. You will hear it. You will feel it. Boom. Now, if there is any form of narrowing, in the vessel, they just clear it and you will see pain. After that period, the pain will go. And you will not, if it's feel, it used to feel headache before, you will never feel headache again. Let's be on our feet. We are going to do one of these exercises, very important. Okay? We know we don't have time for exercise, but today we are going to do one. <laughs> okay, I'll drop the mic, just do as I do, okay? First thing we are going to do is just look at this. Rub your hand gently. You are going to. Everybody is going to tell me how, they are, how you feel. Okay. Now faster. Let's say this is gear one. It's not this way. You must rub together. Okay. Gear two. Three. Four. Five, faster, faster, faster. Okay. Daddy, please tell us how you feel. The hands are hot. You feel very The hands are very hot. Good. And I'm pushing up. Good. Give the next person. Everybody tell us how you feel. I feel it in my body. Very in warm. In your body, right? Yes. You feel it in the book. Okay. Next very person. Warm. warm sensation in the hands. Warm sensation. Next person. My hand is hot and my body is warm. Good. Next person. Pains on my hands. Yes, yes she's correct. Yes. She's correct. <laughs> That's. Go ahead. Warms in the hand. Yes. And the hand is smoother. Smoother. Okay. 
<laughs> yeah, the same thing, but I was feel feel some pain all over my shoulder here. Yes, yeah. yes. Warm, very hot. I felt heat in the palms. Okay. Yeah. Okay. What about you, sir? Yes, very hot, and then it's like the body also feels up. Okay. Now you will feel revived. You feel revived, and the pains you are having, those persons that probably are supposed to have arthritis. They are supposed to have arthritis. The snowdial fluid is drying up, right? So when you do it, you see they begin to feel pain. You see now? So if you want to get rid of arthritis, always do it. <laughs> <laughs> now, let me tell us something. One of another reason why I like the movement is because we clap our hands. Clapping your hands is a therapy. You see your hands? It contains so many anchor points. Your kidney is here, your liver is here, your eyes is here, everything, your, your womb as, as a woman, your reproductive organ as a man, everything is here. So when you hit them together, that is why you see some persons only. Some persons will hit the wall with their hands and their eyes will turn them. Their eyes. So you clap. When you clap, praising God. You see, God is a very wonderful God. He knows all these things. That is why he said what? Clap. Ten strings. Ten strings. Ten strings. Ten strings. Ten strings. Okay, this is ten strings. You clap. You understand? Why you are praising God, he is treating you. Why you are praising God, he is renewing you. Why you are praising God, he is making you a brand new one. So when you keep on clapping, keep on clapping, and celebrate Jesus, you are seeing yourself being happy, being rejuvenated, and God is looking at you. You are saying, you say, ah, pastor, it's not okay. Our hands are paying us. But you don't know that God is making you, is renewing you. Hallelujah! <laughs> Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Okay. You know, in traditional Chinese medicine, traditional, you know, we are doing, you're talking about traditional Chinese medicine. In traditional Chinese medicine, life is easy. Life is easy. Okay. Make sure all what we have learned. Let's don't be that you do it and forget about your medicines or stop going to the hospital. Okay? It's not for that. It just, these are just things that, you, you know, exercise that you do to get yourself fit and then you now go for, uh, for check-up. Okay? When you do, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Don't just stay for one day and you're not done for check-up. It's not correct. If you check it, hope you are okay. The engine room, hope you are okay. Many of us service our generators more than our body. You service your car more than your body. All the time you check oil in your car, you check water in your car, you fuel your car, but you don't know how your body is. But to drink at least two, two uh, bottles of water in a day is a problem. But you can fill your car with water. So please, make sure you take sufficient water. Water is very, very necessary. You need to get hydrated. See, many persons that don't get hydrated, they get angry easily. And you see that face, all their muscles are stiff. But that is the thing. Look, all their muscles are stiff. They are not angry. Yes, people that are dehydrated. Okay, okay. That they are, are dehydrated. No water in that, you know. You see that their muscles will be stiff. And they always get angry easily. And let me tell us, traditional Chinese medicine, anger, like we learned this day, moderate is okay, and it's according to the scriptures, it's also okay. But when you over, you get angry anyhow, like excess, it affects your baby. So most people that, according to the laws of traditional Chinese medicine, most people that have kidney issues, they always get angry too much, and that affects the baby. That's the Bible says, forgive. 70 times what? Don't keep anything in your mind. Free your mind. Free your mind. Free your mind. 
don't be keeping things in your mind and brother did this to me. So because of that I will not forgive you. You are not your brother may be maybe does not even know it is you that is yourself you are just saying. You are not something else. Your KP. Your KP matters. Your KP is very important. What the main the only one I'm introducing to us is KP. What is KB? Kidney and bladder. Okay, kidney and bladder. My yes. kidney and bladder. Yes, that is KB. Okay. Okay. So your game is very important. You see, it, according to the laws, the rules of personal Chinese medicine, your game navigates how long you live. If you want to live long, have a good kidney and bladder. So if you want to have a short lifespan, then get angry. We learned that your perception matters. Give people the benefit of doubt. Don't mm, always mm, mm. think that it is what you think. Mm. I made an illustration in the class last let's this time that maybe two persons were just seated and they just laugh, you know, they're just laughing, you know. You don't know what is making it. Maybe someone is at the end stream that says something that's making it. You don't know. You just got to the door, sighted and suddenly laughing. And they remember, mm, these people are not dating. By the time you begin to spread, you begin to spread it that these people are doing this in church. And this is very interesting. But because that is your mind is corrupt, and that is what is in your mind, you spread false information. So we need to be careful. Watch your words. Your heart must be pure. Your KB is very much important to you. Ask people that are having KB issues. They will tell you that life is one, not two. Ask those that are going for dialysis. They will explain to you that life is not all about what you have. Mm. It's not all about who you are. It's not all about what you have acquired. Some people say, Do you know who I am? Really? Life is all about the mercy. The mercy of God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We have to generally prevent all kinds of diseases by avoiding what we eat. Please, permit me to say this. Please don't be offended and don't take it personal. Big baby is not big man. Hello? Are you with me now? Yeah. When your belly is big this way, okay, it means that most most times, apart from every other thing that may happen, but most times you don't allow your food to digest before you go to bed. And you eat very late. Some people will swallow at about 10 mm. and go to bed by uh, 10 10 and you see them snoring they will wake up in the morning they will take they will eat again and then they will go out no time for exercise not nothing they come back around 12 they swallow with plating meat and everything and then they sleep they wake up again see your health life the life you live is the life of God given to us, so it's a gift. When you sleep and wake up, it's a gift of life God has given to you. And this gift, God will ask you how you manage it. You how you manage it. Remember the scripture? Some he gave what? Five talents to one. He gave two. Am I right? And gave one. The one he gave one. Okay, why do you have to, why do you have to give me one and all of it? Do you understand? God has given you life. You have to give account of that life. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So manage the life. Manage it very well. Be thankful with it. What you eat matters. What you eat matters. If I can just talk about food, food, food alone, I'm okay. Because every day people are dying. He slumped and died. It's not easy. He slumped and died. She slumped and died. He slumped and died. For how long? For how long? You hear a pastor. It's not a shame to the Christian God that you hear a pastor, a general overseer, slumped and die. What are you telling the unbelievers? What are you telling them? Even the unbelievers take care of their health more than us. They take care of themselves more than us. And you hear a general overseer. A man that will stand in the pulpit and cast out demons is slumped and died. Tell us, say God forbid. God forbid. It's shameful. 
people. We need to wake up from our slumber and take good care of ourselves. Let's mind what to eat. Mind what to eat. Have food timetable. If you know that you are hypertensive, get a dietitian that will give you a meal timetable for hypertensive people. If you know that you are diabetic, get a dietitian that's going to give you a meal timetable for hypertensive people. Don't eat everything because it is food. Praise the Lord. At this point, I will want us to ask questions if you have any before we address. Any question, please. Okay, even those online, our brothers, our sisters online, please, you can raise your hands for questions. Okay, sir. Four years. Now, I've taken, I've gone to so many places. I've even gone to our clinic here. I've given so many drugs. But the thing is, it's so I that I will just stay like that. But what they call osteoporosis, that is. Osteoporosis? Yeah. Uh, my face, my waist, and my, actually my buttocks, then all the way is pain. But I've been managing it. My legs, yeah, my hands. You know, like every morning, what I do is this slapping you say, I do like this. For how long are you? Have you been having the osteoporosis, sir? For four years. For four years. Yes. Can we end it for you tonight? If you can end it, that's nice. Uh, that's what I say. <laughs> I because if you can end it, I think. Praise the Lord. Amen. Okay, you go to the clinic. Get yourself registered. We end the osteoporosis for you tonight. Thank you. Osteoporosis. Spinal cord problem. All over, and uh, he said you can get it. Uh, so, okay. Any other question? That's what he said, but I am, I'm here to believe because I've had so many things like that. Okay. Yes. Then number two, that person that you talk about, the heart, he said, is a stroke. Yes. I, I, I directed them to this place because it was yesterday. Yesterday, they called me that the wife the called me and said the husband just had stroke, so I had to. Go to the hospital there in the area there. I went to the hospital. I saw the man lying down, and they, they said they are referring them to uh, a Sokoro hospital. I said, No, don't go there. Let us go to our hospital here. But the children are worried. I said, No, I have to call Peter. I said, Please, there's somebody down here. He couldn't talk. If I direct them, can we do anything? He said, When they happen, I said, Just maybe. Recently, just today, he said, Okay, I should have them to call uh, immediately. Now, as I came, I went to the hospital. I saw him lying down. I couldn't talk yesterday, but I saw him. He sat down and uh, I could see some changes. So, I don't know. Will it be okay completely? Just want to find out. You know, what I used to tell people is this I'm not the healer, I don't even know how to make it happen the only healer we have is god almighty he's one that does the healing by himself but by faith by the grace of god he will be fine completely he's going to talk he will be fine completely by the grace of god all right okay all right any other question before we proceed Anybody online? Okay. Yes, uh, you earlier said uh, the acute points uh, you can handle almost all types of sickness. What about cancer and other? Okay. What is cancer? <laughs> you know one thing? The white man has brainwashed us. African medicine is stronger. The white man has brainwashed us. What is cancer? What is cancer? They made it look as if it's one big thing. Abnormal production of cells. When it says grow abnormally, what do you do? You stop it from going abnormally. That's the only thing.
it is just to stop it. And then sometimes it may form any form of any, a tumor or whatever, whatever, whatever. We have treated breast cancer by the grace of God. We have treated all kinds of so many forms of cancer. Cancer is not that deadly as we feel it is in traditional Chinese medicine. It can be handled. Okay? You know, it becomes some persons the same time they are cancerous, they are hypertensive, and they are diabetic. And it's very dangerous, mostly when they are diabetic. But by the grace of God, we need to handle that. The bitter leaf in your backyard, the original bitter, not the one they use uh, fertilizer, the original bitter leaf in your backyard, do you know that it can bring down your sugar level? You go to the restaurant and they will tell you that I have bitter leaf soup, I have a goosey soup, I have a pan coco, you choose a pan coco and leave bitter leaf soup. Bitter leaf soup is better. It's far, far better. It's more bitter leaf to balance your, your, your sugar. I, I, yes, can also drink. I met a man, if I, this man that I'm talking about that introduced me to, his wife is, uh, is a nurse in the hospital. You know, this man bumps at the back, he's diabetic. So, while shaving, you know, it's, you know, he had an injury and it escalated everywhere, got swollen pores. Every the man was just waiting for the day he would die. He was just waiting to die. And when I said, okay, don't worry, God will heal you. The faith didn't come. Why? Because he knows that he will die. But by the grace of God, if you see this man, you will never believe they had such kind of issue before. Even those places, those bones and all that, they are all dried up as if he never had one. What did I use? Peter leave. Before I did the treatment for the wound, I, I didn't give him any drug. It was bitter leaf I gave to him. I gave him bitter leaf because the sugar level was high and I had nothing. Will I leave him and go? Jesus said, is it because it is Sabbath I should leave this person for him to die because it is Sabbath? So because I don't have any drug on me, should I leave him and go? No. I said, do you have bitter leaf? He said, yes. As the wife, is it the original? He said, yes. She planted it. I go and bring. That's what we use to drop the sugar. Within four days, that place was dried up. Within two weeks, everywhere was as if he, he never had such kind of injury. Did it? Okay. Okay. Yes. There are some persons that they will prefer eating it. But for me, the way that is best, wash it. Plenty of it with little water. Not with plenty water. No, just wash it with your hand. Don't blend. Wash it with your hand. Squeeze it rather. Squeezing, that's a better word. Squeeze it. Okay. You squeeze it. Okay. And get the, the juice out of it. Yeah, let's try the juice out of it. Okay with little water not much water at least a glass full morning afternoon and night use use your hands to do it don't use extractor hmm? extract it what you are doing the bible says it will bless the works of our hands hallelujah it will bless the works of our hands. Don't use any form of machine. Use your hands and extract it. Then take it. Morning. Instead of taking. No. Don't eat the leaf that way. If you want to eat, it's fine. Okay, it's fine. But extract the juice. Don't just. If you begin to shoot the leaf, you will not have. The, the the um this what you actually want you know there are different principles if you want your men you understand what i mean to be this thing you know <laughs> praise the lord in a remote hospital we have what it takes to make you ld so come we'll check for you and make sure you are ld so make sure your prostate is okay 
Apart from that, your sugar. Many men are having problems. Maybe they are, um, they are not fertile just because they have high level of sugar, even unknown to them. Their sugar is high. How can someone wake up in the morning, take um, bread and tea in the morning, then take the person will now uh, take um, rice, maybe rice and stew or something, or yam, and at night you swallow? <laughs> you know, and you repeat this over and over and over and over and over and over. Hmm? If you change food, it will be yam. <laughs> when last did we drink pap? Take pap. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Many of us who don't eat beans. True of us. But all of us eat meat here. Maybe you are up to 45, 40, 45. You should eat white meat. White meat. Fish. Chicken without the skin. It's better for us. Okay? When you keep yourself healthy, you have, as a man, you have a healthy home. Goat meat, yes. Goat meat. When you keep yourself healthy, okay, as a man, you function very well. Because of this, what I do, a lot of people, when they come to my husband, and the men, do you know what the men will do? They will, when the woman, was, my husband, don't, doctor, see, don't mind that. Like, oh, is, she's the problem. And she, it's not right. Men, please, accept for once that you have challenge and face it. Accept it, you have challenge. Do you know, if I check everyone that is here and those that are following online, you will notice that some of us, some of some of us here, are having these same issues I'm talking about. But you hide it. Don't be offended. Watch those people that have big belly; they don't perform very well. True or false? Let's say the truth now. True or false? <laughs> and we know the truth. We know the Bible says that you shall know the truth, and what will happen? The truth shall set you free. So if you know the truth and hide it, would you carry a lamb and hide under a bushel? No. We know the truth. And you know, when you cannot perform very well as a man, the woman, you know, sometimes some of some of them, when they want to go to their monopause, they need this thing. They need it. And then you not say, mommy, leave me alone. I'm, I'm stressed. In fact, today in church, I spoke so much in tongues. So I, I don't have strength. It's, see, pastors, if you can speak in tongues, if you can vibrate, uh, uh, what do you call it? Vibrate on the pulpit. Please make your wife to vibrate in the house. Make her to speak in tongues too. In the house. If you can't do that, no, your ministry is not what? Fulfilled. It's not balanced, rather. Better word. Balanced. Do both. That was said the man should love his wife as Christ loved the church. So he must do both. It's your duty. Praise the Lord. Then the women. Please. Don't wear head nets from morning to night with rapper and stay in the house. Try. Keep your body neat. Look good so that it will attract daddy to come. Please, don't be offended. Let me use this word. Try and seduce your husband. He is your husband. Look, you know, for him. Look sweet for him. Look good for him. At home, when the both of you are together, we are short things, attract him. Hmm? When the both of you are together in the house, make him look good. Attract him. Let him, let him, you understand what I mean. We may praise the Lord, though. Hallelujah. <laughs> Attract yours, make it look good. See, the work of the devil is to number one, to kill, to steal, and to destroy. The Bible says he walks to and fro, looking for whom to kill, to steal, and to. You have to understand this. Some of the ladies now, they are 
instruments that the devil is using. You'll be surprised that the secretary in your husband's office will be looking somehow, dressed anyhow, and be shaking some things for your husband, and wear a uh, blouse that is low when she bent down, your husband will see everything will be like, wow, it takes only the Holy Spirit to sustain him. And when you come back home, you will see a woman that is 35, but she looks as if she's 80, wearing a net with wrapper, and she has taken her bath since morning, and said, Daddy, welcome. And she's very big, feeling everywhere, even though you are big in nature, in size, that's not an issue anyways, but at least take care of yourself. Please, our mothers, go for exercise. Yes, get a bicycle. If you don't have a bicycle, Daddy will teach you how to ride bicycle. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Please, men, let's teach our wives how to look good. Buy things for them. Buy clothes for them. Take them out. Change their wardrobe. It's good that way. Make them feel happy. Surprise them. So she's always washing your clothes. Sometimes for deliberately forget money inside the pocket. So that you attract her to wash the clothes more. <laughs> Just praise the Lord. <laughs> Hallelujah. So please. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yes, yes. Praise the Lord. Alright. So please. The man and the woman are meant to have an exercise. Let me make us to understand. Sex is a very important exercise. If you want your blush, your uh, your um, sugar level, I mean, your uh, if you want your your blood level to drop, okay, you need sex as a man. As a woman, it's an exercise. That's why sometimes. When you have that exercise, according to how it is proven, you look good. When women, you know, have that exercise, you see them being happy. When your wife is always angry, know that you've not done it and she's not happy about it. So you need that exercise. Sex is very important. Have sex. It may not be every day. It may be once in a week. It may be twice in a month. It may be once in a month, but make sure you have it. Not because you finish having children and then you forget about your wife. She becomes your prayer partner. No, now. She was meant for, she, she's not just a prayer partner. Something is supposed to be done in the room. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. All right. I want to discuss very, something very important. See, talking about the sexual problems. Please. Family. Man and woman. Always treat infection. Hmm? Always what treat infection. Even as a, as the man, the head of the, the the family, when your wife is saying she's treating infection, please assist her you to treat your own treat. Because if you don't treat, and she and after she finishes treating, and the both of you meet, she's going to have it back, right? Now, women, you need to avoid some things. Number one, avoid touching. Avoid putting your hands into your private parts deep to wash. Avoid using antiseptic to wash your body. Avoid using soap to wash your body as a woman. Avoid it. It's not good for you. Do not air your undies in your bathroom. The, the bathroom is a conductor of bacteria. And it will, it's not good for you. Air them outside. Let sun fresh air touch them. Okay? Men, don't wear warm boxers for four days. At least wear two a day, morning and night. Or at night, you can go naked so that fresh air will touch that environment. To the women too, you know, at night, go naked, sleep naked. In fact, it is proven that when you sleep naked, you feel very much healthy. So that fresh air can touch those places and you become healthy. Most times, when we wear our clothes, just put your hand inside. It's very warm. And when you bring it out, the aroma <laughs> is not funny. It's not palatable. So keep yourself 
neat. Okay, now, low lipidu. Many men have this challenge, okay, and some of them, they don't know how to explain to their wives that they're having such challenge. So they just, you know, look for one excuse. You know, no matter how active the man is, at a point, to some extent, when you get to some age, you will, you know, you will not be that active again. Now, what do you have to do? Eat more of fruits and vegetables. Fruits and vegetables. Many people don't do it. Many of our fathers don't eat fruits and vegetables. Many of our fathers don't eat fruits and vegetables. They eat more of our the swallow. Eat fruits and vegetables. It's very important. In fact, your measurement should be fruits and vegetables. Okay? To avoid that. And also, another thing that causes this is some persons are hypertensive. The drug they take, the hypertensive, uh, hypertensive, uh, hypertensive drug they take, okay, most times causes all this. By the time you know, weak erection, you know, and all of it, all right? And when they become diabetic, all these things, you know, what we'll say is this. That's why we have brought this solution to you. Now, let me also give you one, one tip. For those that are hypertensive, okay, look at what you do. When you notice that your pressure is high, <coughs> get um, alligator pepper. You know alligator pepper? Put it in your mouth. And eat it. Alligator pepper. Put it in your mouth and eat it. Okay. Some quantity in your mouth and and sh and chew it. It will help to bring down the blood pressure. Okay. All right. So when we talk lipido and uh, erection, okay, the man reaction, woman reaction, all of this boils down to cleanliness too and then your diet in too like i said earlier you need to eat well for you to, for you to achieve all of this but let me say this please our men there are some times that the women will be having hormonal imbalance that no matter how you do they don't get wet they don't have that feelings and then when you want, as if you want to force them you are raping them right when you need to see sex is not a pleasure for the man alone okay the both parties must have the feeling you must the both parties must agree and have the feeling right then if one party is not in the mood is not having it let the party be let that person be try to find out what is the problem and help that person to solve the problem Sometimes, the man may be going through a lot in the office, but because of the character of the woman, he cannot explain to her, that, look at the challenge I'm going through in the office. He will keep quiet. And then while he's thinking, the woman will want to say, no, I'm not ready for this. And she gets angry because she had a girlfriend outside. That is why you're doing this. No. Try to solve the problem of your partner. What is the issue? Okay, I'm having this challenge. Okay, let's solve it together. So that you can bounce back. Not because of sex, but because as it helped me, so that you can do what? Bounce back. Okay? So make sure that you always, you know, sort the problem of your partner. You must both agree. You know, it is better when the both party, you know, are in the Bible says, can two work together except they agree. But when the both of you agree together, you are having it, it's more enjoyable. And God will be so happy looking at you. Why? Because. You are doing it in the way that he wants it. Both of you are having this feeling. And then, God will be praised. Praise the Lord. Now, many family, you know, they are having issues with uh, fertility. Maybe the woman, a lot of things can lead to fertility. Maybe the woman is having fibroid or the man is having uh, uh, the sperm motility rate is very reduced, low, or is having oligospermia. That is, the, sperma the spermatozoa is very much, uh, the sperm cells are very low. Now, apart from all of this, okay, there are little, little characters that we display that may also lead to that. Now, as a woman, one thing you need to avoid is this. avoid taking much of antibiotics. You add little rashes, antibiotics. You have uh, discharge, antibiotics, antibiotics. Now, I want us to look at it. 
we did biology in school and we know that anti or antibiotics you know is by we, we did biology the study of biology right the study of life right now if you come to this you say antibiotics so it is what against life so when you are taking this, it kills both the good cells and the bad cells. It, it flushes everything. And by the time you know, you will start having issues here and there, smelly discharges. Some people say, I've been treating infection for over many years. It's not going. Come to, the, come to the holistic hospital. We are here. God is going to help us. We'll get rid of that infection and you'll be free from it. Now, whatever challenge you are facing, whether it's... Um, or what they call it, uh, lumbar spondylosis, whether it is fibroid, whether it is low sperm count, or whether it is uh, erection dysfunction, whatever it is, we can use traditional Chinese medicine to sort these things for you here in the holistic hospital. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So it is as simple as it is. Another thing, we'll be hammering on diets because diet is very much important. We cannot stop talking about diet because diet is important. Please, watch what you eat. Know what you eat. It's not every drink you drink. It's not every drink you drink. It's not every drink you drink. The best drink so far in the world is water. Clean water. Make it beautiful, alkaline or spring water. Drink water. Get yourself hydrated. Eat good food. Eat balanced diet, not diet. Balanced diet. Sometimes it's cheaper. Some people say, ah, it's so expensive eating balanced diet. Balanced diet is the cheapest. It's just that we have brainwashed ourselves and we believe that the apple that we swallow that makes our belly big is better. Do you know that many of us, we eat to belly full and not to belly wise? Okay. Sometimes, there is what is called kunu aya, right? I hate, I hate kunu aya. There is another one I took today. There is another kunu something again. It may be shinkafa, I don't know. But <laughs> you know these things, this kunu aya that we have around here, kunu, shinkafa and the rest, they are very good. Sometimes, choose it, take it for your breakfast, or if not for your breakfast, for your lunch, or your dinner, or in between meals, you, you have it. They are very nice. Last night, what I did yesterday, because I was so busy, I took only breakfast, what I did, I have to take this uh, kunu aya, right? I have to take that on throughout till, and I was okay. Till the next day, till this morning. Till this morning. And I was okay. Tiger nuts. Okay, a drink from tiger nut. I don't really understand it. <laughs> a drink from tiger nut. Okay, you can blend your tiger nut, extract the juice, and then you take it. To make it look more beautiful, you can add something like uh, date nuts. Is that the one they call here? Is it nebi or dobino? Dobino. Date nuts. You can get date nuts, extract the juice, you know, and add it up for flavor. Then, uh, if possible, you can also get suya, suya bean, and add to it. Make it very well. It's nice. You will enjoy it. It's food. It will be like a camo, like our corn powder. You will enjoy it. And when you eat this food, you see yourself looking good. It's not rice and uh, yam and uh, uh, pando yam and our <laughs> swallow, gari and the rest of this corn uh, 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 flour. Okay. Cassava flakes, rather. So please, eat good food. It, you have 100 phones. The world is in your end with that phone. Why not you, 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 you can press how to live, a, how to eat good diets. You will see it online. You study it. Get these things. And eat them. Sometimes get diff buy different vegetables. You have spinach. You have uh, pepper. You have uh, cucumber. You have different vegetables. You can make them together. And then eat. Nourish yourself. And see yourself becoming, you know, you look good. People ask you, you may be 49 and you are looking at as if you are 25. 
because you'll be looking good. And when you tell someone my age, you tell the person, I'm so sorry. The person, no, 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 it's not possible. Why? Because you are taking good care of yourself. Okay. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Any question? Do we have any question, please? What's that? Okay, that's bicycle. Yes, bicycle. Bicycle exercise. Now, the bicycle exercise helps to... As, um, it sends energy around your body, makes you strong, and also make your man an organ very strong. The, the more you do it, the more you become stronger. And then you... As if you are riding bicycle on your bed. So, the way we do it is this. When you lie down, you raise your leg up, and you keep riding... Don't ride as if you are strolling. Ride as if you're, you are late for work and your boss is going to sack you in the next moment if you are not in the office. So you ride that way. So you need to meet, meet up so that your boss will not sack you, right? So you have to keep pushing. Keep pushing. Even when you are tired, I have to get to the work. I have to get to the office, rather. I have to get to the office. Else, this old guy will sack me. <laughs> I don't want to say, you know. So, so, thank you very much. If there is no question. Okay, question. Okay. Thank you very much. I have this family, so they have done IBM. I think other two it that has not worked. They came here to me. It's as if there is no result. They went back, they told me the other day that there's another place they are trying to check and so many things. And I spent millions. Is there anything they can, you can, that you can do for them? So that instead of maybe going somewhere else, I can ask them to come and see you because I thought it was taking a lot of things the wife and the husband what can be done could they have spent so much money okay let them come I'll have a talk with them and then God is going to give us a solution thank you alright any other question okay at this point now I would like you to take a bow thank you so much and God bless you thank you for the opportunity uh, we are going to make a book out of this, your lecture. <laughs> you will see a copy. And uh, we will appreciate you. Amen? So let's pray that a book will come out so that these things will be available. If I need to refer to you again to, to edit the book, uh, Robinson, I, say I may need to refer to you to contact you to edit the book. If it's possible like that, please be ready to perfect it. <laughs> Thank you very much. The Lord be glorified. We have been blessed. As for you who are uh, online, uh, make your way here in the Easter, Easter conference. Or you can come purposely just to treat yourself. And uh, the Lord will honor you. During conferences, if you are coming for treatment, please uh, it is good to book ahead of time so that we know how to give you attention. Uh, Dr. Robinson is not staying here. He came from Portacot and he's running his uh, hospital ministry. I told him it's a ministry uh, or call it healing ministry. But we are pleading with him to give us more attention so that he will be coming often to her more holistic uh, hospital uh, until God creates an office for him here. <laughs> so we want to pray for him. Please let's rise up and thank God for him that it is God who has sent him, not only for us but for the whole world because this lecture is available for you. Use it free and tell God it's coming from Dr. Robinson and that uh, God should bless him. Let us worship. Pastor Dapo. Pastor Dapo. Worship you, Father. We bless you. Thank you for what we have received. So great. So mighty. Father, let the whole world take it free as the cross of Christ. As Jesus. As the blood of Jesus. As the name of Jesus. As the word of God. Let them take it free. 
let it work let it solve their problems thank you father worship bless you thank you as they go to practice it god bless it let it work let's hear testimonies worship our god in jesus name we pray lord we bless you thank you for quickly calling people to gather to listen to this and it has become a broadcast to the whole world and many people will make heaven just because of this yes it is a message from god we are grateful for building into man solution to his problems help us to locate these uh, actual points in our lives both the spiritual and the physical one so that we can enjoy you more lord we worship thank you for robinson remember him in area of need answer his special prayers in jesus name we pray thank you can be seated now i want you to listen to comments on Robinson. just just stay a little let them say something about what you have done in their lives on the need and those sitting here you want to give a comment concerning what god has used robinson to do please be free to say it praise the lord hallelujah you know, when i saw the notice of the for acupuncture i said why is that you asking us to come <laughs> and listen to this i was wondering then and i saw the message to to i mean everybody said join your next say ah i don't understand what is happening <laughs> Say okay, let me come. Because today I told Pastor that I said, I have been dealing with the unity that I said, no, you must come here. Is this one coming? I said, okay. But I'm telling you, if I will come, one of the questions I ask you, I know that you know that I ask faith. You remember at that time you came, I said, this is my astrologist or whatever, from us, whatever they are. I said, can you take care of it? He promised me, he said, we'll take care of it. I said, if you don't take care of it, I will collect my money back. I know I told him that that time. And eventually, when we, I paid, over 100,000. I know I paid a big, big list of amount and he treated, but he will be giving me what this puppy, whatever. Nothing so much happened. So I decided to say, Okay, I won't, I'll just leave it like anyhow. I said, I won't go anywhere again, just be praying. You know, and that's what I asked him now. I explained to him, and he told me that he can take care of it. He just today, I said, Well, <laughs> I think I appreciate what he has said. And I think I've learned a lot. And the question I asked you is concerning my brain because I've seen a bit that I did I did there and I saw that that I see it has failed. Uh -huh. They are spent so much money. But the assurance is given now that you know, if they come, the Lord can do something, you talk with them. I think and with what he has said, I can see the confidence with which he's teaching now and some of the things telling me like, like, dieting and all the rest of them. I think it's actually what we need. I know actually by the grace of God, we do we do it because we know that at this stage we know what we should eat. But I think I see learned a lot of all this uh, but I've been practicing it as as uh, he was teaching us. So I can, I just pray that this uh, message because some people out over there they are not hearing the voice. Maybe at the end we should post it on the internet. Yeah, I'm uh, going to make it uh, so now. that uh, people can now hear what is happening. Thank you very much and God bless you. Anyone on the need, we are ready to hear you. Praise the Lord. I want to appreciate God for this privilege. I am asking that uh, we may get something to remind ourselves of these areas of, uh, of passion and uh, because it's not easy to keep it as we just have done. So if we can let he said it's good to work on it. We want to add that we will uh, do so because he will remind us. I also want to appreciate uh, uh, all he has come to do here. Especially I want you to know that I'm happy about the way he treated me. And uh, I also want to ask him that my left leg should not be left uh, in the <laughs> Saying the right leg is not okay. I will not be leaping with one. That that in any one. <laughs> May God introduce you in Jesus' name. And then from your testimony, we pray that Pastor Stephen, God will give him grace to 
be able to bear the blessing they're going to give him <laughs> Because that is really painful, but God give you grace to bear. <laughs> yes, any other person. Yes, any other person. Oh, Pastor Philip, you came late, but all together. Yes, let me hear testimony. Let people who are expressing thanks to the living God. I'm so grateful myself. I'm so thankful. It's God that brought this, and I'm praying it will work. Mm. Praise the Lord. Uh, I'm grateful that I came. I've uh, been uh, used as a specimen of the guinea pig. So I think it's just that uh, I should have the direct benefit of the teachings so that I can have more time on it. You'll be feeling that all those places he put his hand there. I think you should be feeling it. Pray that the feeling will continue so that you remember them. Yes, <laughs> uh, but maybe <laughs> that I benefited uh, from what he did. Yeah. Because being the spaceman, I think the parts, areas he was touching. Uh, uh, <laughs> it's okay. Thank you so much. Amen. Praise the Lord. Thank you. I was greeted. Thanking God. That God has put these things in the body. That the need for our health, for our healthy state, everything is present in our bodies. And our only what we need is just the knowledge of it. I'm just appreciating God for that which God has done mm -hmm. for us. And I want to thank God for bringing in a man like me to come and tell us that what God has put in us is just great and awesome and we are complete. Thank you. Yes. Now it's coming to you by and by. That point you can go ahead and praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We thank God for his coming. It was a short notice. It was while I was uh, though we have been talking before I went to Rivers but mm -hmm. that is a uh, meeting. And we have meeting with him with Pastor Pura and had some time together. So it was a short notice, and still he was able to find time to come. Uh, I was, I saw him briefly on Monday as a patient, so I'm hoping for the very good thing as you have told me. Then I will be able to give testimony of my own. But from what I've had so far, I think we are getting results, and that is good. I love the idea because it's an addition to what God is already doing here. And I just want to appeal that it should not be far from us here. Mm -hmm. Now we are seeing the partner in progress. I see from his speech, he's, uh, he has God as his focus. Too. So we want you to partner with us as much as God gives you the grace, in one way or the other, so that together we can render good health to people. When people have good health, serving God too will be much easier for them. We don't have to serve God in pain and in stress. God will help us in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. I thank God for the lecture. And uh, I, I benefited a lot. Uh, the first encounter I had with uh, traditional Chinese medicine was about maybe 10 years or more ago. Uh, when I was uh, doing a TNC uh, multi-level marketing. Chinese medicine. So I took time, I read through the theory of the Chinese medicine by the Ye Yang, and even from the interactions we had, they talked about some people like him that will come and conduct a lecture to just be like, like a crusade is going on. Because people will come with sicknesses and with the acute pressure massage, you see somebody limping and coming, when they walk on him, he start walking straight. People will start rejoicing, shouting. Sometimes they bring somebody on a stretcher and massage. This knowledge I've had mm. for over 10 years now, I've known no this. And the person just gets well. So, the secret of the human body, which we also talk about today, the way God has made us. God made man in a way that 
many secrets in the body we are yet to know. Like these uh, organs of the body, systems of the body, having their pressure point on the palms of the hands and on the soles of the foot. In fact, there are some uh, materials that are sold in the Chinese medicine that will draw a diagram of the body parts. Yes. And the pressure points. For instance, if you are walking barefoot sometimes, there is a way you can step on a stone or a sharp object to feel it reflected in a part of your body. Because that place is the pressure point that reflected immediately. So these are things that have been established. There is something I can I like from this approach. I have the sense that he is very modest. He tells you take your drugs. Even though you use this, he keeps on saying it, take your drugs. All I do that come and say, no, these ones are not working, this is the one that is wrong, which is very wrong. The approach I uh, the approach that I like that you're thinking is that if we are bringing holistic health for people, you benefit from this, you benefit from this, you benefit from this. Like my brother, my pastor, they were talking about food that use IVF. That is not the final solution, even that. Even the that one too doesn't have the final solution. Some benefit from it. Some will benefit from this. So God has packaged everything. All these good things are coming from our loving father who wants his children to get the best. So I encourage everyone that is interested. There was a place I had challenge with the Chinese medicine at the time. Trying to understand this uh, yin yang theory. If we were saying light and darkness, he is talking about uh, moon and sun. I've known all this, I've heard of all this before. But the place I was when he's talking about good and bad. That there is nothing that is absolutely good and nothing absolutely bad. There is some good and bad and bad good. So uh, that was the point I would do from the Indian theory. If you hear it very well. Yeah. Let me explain that so it doesn't look good. Yeah, yeah. When we say yin and yang, we are saying yin is like um, we say yin, yang, good and bad. Okay. Now, what it means is in a yin world, in a yin world, okay. For yin, the equation is this: yin was equals to and proportional to yang. Okay, that is going to give us q. I. Now, in a yin world, okay, a yin is not a yin without a yang. They are two opposite pairs that cannot do without each other. So when you add a yin, you must also add a yang. That's to say, in every yin, there is a yang. And in every yang, there is a yin. This person might be an arm robber, a very bad child. But he may have a challenge as a father, he will come out and fight for you. Yet, he's a bad child. Do you understand? No, like we say, if I carry uh, 80 buckets of hot boiled water and pour in the drum, and then bring 20 buckets of cold water and pour in that drum, is that water hot or cold? Hot. The water is hot. Adding a yin in a yang does not make, make it a yin. It's you still going to be what? A yang. So, but for this is just like your car. You have to put water as a coolant. That does not mean that the engine will be cool. If you touch it, to burn your skin. Mm -hmm. But it is still helpful. But it is still helpful. It's a coolant. So that's why we have the yin and the yang. They are two opposite pairs that complement each other. Even as you are, a man was made, I mean, a woman was made from man, according mm -hmm. to the scripture. Mm -hmm. but, every, but when you look at a woman, she looks like the man. The man has two ears. The woman has one. The man is a yang. The woman is a yin. Okay. The man has two ears. The woman has two ears. The man has one nose. The woman has one nose. Everything is equal. But there are some things that the woman, some characters the woman has that the man does not have, and there are some characters the man has that the woman does not have. That's what differentiates them. There are two opposite pairs. So good is still good. Bad is still bad. Now every little yin in a person with in matters of sin will take him to hell. You get it now? Every little yin is that answer Dr. Robinson? Yes, any, any little yin 
in sin in a man will take him to hell yes. finish i came late because of the assignment before me mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, but actually the church uh, um, dr rosin gave us yesterday i practiced it even before i slept mm -hmm. since i uh, this caterpillar has been coming 6 30 if i hear the sound of caterpillar boom the whole pain that i close with that previous day will just come back because if caterpillar is sleeping close to my house mm -hmm. and it, it comes 6 30 so that will start work mm -hmm. if i hear the sound of caterpillar boom, 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 every pain of yesterday will just come back but when i went back home and i did the practice what the lectures of yesterday mm -hmm. This morning, I didn't know when the caterpillar sounded. <laughs> I'm saying the truth. That yes, I yes. I didn't know when the caterpillar sounded. I he came to the road before I came to join them. Thank you. Uh -huh. And Thank uh, you. I woke up in the morning and I did the same practice. All those robbing and all those ones, and all those things were teaching us. And you didn't do this, you are something here. Uh -huh. Come and do it. Uh, come and do it. It worked well for me, so I appreciate God. And uh, two, uh, yes, I want him to do it. Yesterday he was saying when he was discussing the case of this doctor to us, was saying his concern is these are his coordinators. He wish that they are healthy to work for God. Yes. And he see get some of these things around us. And I think that is working. And they will be coordinator if they follow the practice for them praise the lord not only the pastors but members, members for, know that if you came from your god all things are yours and it boosts your righteousness it's okay once again so let's just do this exercise can we be on our feet please please maybe while doing the exercise i may say some things please don't be offended don't get embarrassed it just and it's not so magical you know it's just uh, the principles of tcm so it just happens okay uh, look at what we are going to do i'm going to drop the mic so you can just see me stretch your hands this way first stretch it hello that is the last said first this man here if you didn't carry all his hands all his hands the full camera. Okay, look at it now. Move it. Uh-huh. All right, just this way. Now, what we are doing, you are not moving your hands. You are not flying, okay? You are just, look at what I'm doing. Your fingers. So you make it faster. Okay. So let's do it. One, two, ready, go. If I keep doing it. You see, some person's own will not go right. Some will be shaking. You know? Like that is only showing us stress. <laughs> Look at that is own. It's showing us stress. See the, the finger is getting tired. Look. You will see the big finger is getting tired the way it goes as if it's you know praise the lord hallelujah please can i say can i talk about some health challenges we are having now okay that is not be offended but really you need to be careful of diabetes you have you see now see how do i know you see now, these are the things. Okay? It's not magic. It's not incantation. It's not like it's that's what I'm saying. You have to be careful of diabetes because it's showing what it's doing is showing that he's prone to have diabetes. How? How? You may not understand. I don't know how to explain. I 
Like I said, in, in, in this year, we diagnose, we treat, and we prevent. Okay? We diagnose. I don't need to do uh, a machine diagnosis for, you, for me to know what is wrong. I can still bring out your tongue. I diagnose your tongue. I'll tell you what is wrong. That's another one. You can diagnose through the tongue. If I want to check if someone is having paralysis, I cannot through the tongue. Okay, we do all that. Like, if and there are different things we do. Paralysis, I get it from the tongue. Not having sufficient blood flow. Even when your airways are blocked, get it from the tongue. And these tongues have different colors. If you look at the tongue, you will think that it's just the same color. But we will see different colors. About three to five colors. Okay, we know when it is this, we know when it is this, we know when it is this. So we we'll look at it and we'll say, ah, something like this is wrong. Something like this is wrong. Something like this is wrong. And from there, we're not okay, do this, do this, do this. Okay, so I don't really want to call it, but I don't, because I don't like doing much of it. Because it makes people to look as if, you know, it's, it's, traditional Chinese medicine is strange. When you do some certain things, people feel that you are an abalist. A woman asks me, are you Jesus uh, abalist or you are native abalist? You know, so I don't really do much of these things. I just do only few. Do everything. We want, I want to know how you detect this thing. You remember I told you even the clinic that yes. Yeah. Now, have we met before? Oh sure. Really, I don't forgotten. <laughs> really. We met two days ago. Two days ago. Sure. Wow. You now, forgot you test all my nerves, finger you were pressing. Whatever. A woman walked up to me. I, I wanted to buy fruit. She said, I can't be here for you to buy food at the hospital. I said, Mama, why? She said, have you forgotten me? I said, I, I know that I've met you. He said, it's because Sophia can stand. Can't you see I'm running? Can't you see I'm walking? Can't you see I'm walking? I said, Mama, don't worry. I'll be. He said, don't worry. In fact, take 2,000 and give me all the fruits. <laughs> Another one came to me today and brought an envelope. I said, take my son. I said, Mommy, why? He said, take, take, take. He said, what I'm giving to you is my address and is my phone number so that you will call me. I want to be talking to you. When I look, open the envelope, there is money inside. I was like, she said, it's because of you. I'm no longer can. She came with walking stick. But instantly, we raised the walking stick up. See, today, she, we did it yesterday. Today, she came with that walking stick. That's the end of it. You know? A lot, a lot that happened. Some of that even forgotten because you know when we are working, we use more energy. We use lots of those that are there. At least uh, Pastor Chester, Chester is there. He knows what we do. A lot of energy. So sometimes I'll be so tired and I'll even forget that I've even attended to you. What about the L4, L5 bones that are giving benefits? Those bones are they are the most simplest because those things can cause paralysis. Okay, but they are very simple. All what we do, when you lie down, if you tell me now, Rally, I may not know much to do, but when you lie down, I have a feel of it. When I have a feel, and apart from all this too, you know, I don't know, but I feel that because I directed my own to Christianity and holiness, so I have this inspiration from God. Okay, I have the inspiration. So when I look at it, I feel it, I touch it. I don't know, but I have this inspiration that I will just know what to do immediately. I just know what to do. Like, uh, there is this man that came, they had not been there for some time. He had some issues, just like what he said, the same thing. You know, we just worked on it. We, I knew that I just saw it. I called the nurses available that are working with me. Okay, let's do this. We just worked on the man, and instantly, those things that we saw just dried up. And we're like, ah, it didn't go finish. finish. I said, yes, they don't go finish. And I said, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. That's my happiness. That's my joy. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So, I don't want to do much of this. Please, if you... Because, do you know why? One of this is because TCM is two ways. Positive. I don't think it's a practice to strengthen your service of work. Is it for diagnosis? It's for diagnosis. Oh, it's for I diagnosis. I'm so stressed in my own. <laughs> <laughs> It's for that reason. So instead, I prefer if you want us to talk, you come to the hospital than doing this. It makes you to begin to, and I don't really like it. <laughs> you want to say something, Daddy? Mm -hmm. Okay, question. Uh, 
thank you, sir. I appreciate the way you answered the other time, and that did now finalize it. There's an aspect I forgot to mention. There is also the yin yang that talks about the negative, the environment, their powers in the environment. Force it. You have mentioned the word energies here before too. So they are, it's part of it. It's the, yoga is a part of Chinese medicine. Is it also? Yes. It's Eastern yes. meditation. It's, 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 uh, yoga is part of Eastern meditation. So it talks about channeling the forces in the environment. Negative forces, positive forces. Balancing them. It's a part of traditional Chinese medicine. Okay, when you talk about yoga, yoga is meditation and it is scriptural. But they that know their God will be strong and do exploit. If you know whom you serve, you will do a meditation to whom you serve. I do yoga. I do yoga a lot. But the yoga I do, I don't do yoga for any other thing. I do yoga and speak the word of God into my life. I shall not die, but live and declare the works of the Lord. It's yoga. Are you with me? But I don't do it. In that, as I said, traditional Chinese medicine is life and death. Choose. Some persons will decide to choose this other negative side. There is, in fact, when you talk about spirituality, it also has to do with forces. Hope you know that. Negativity, we also have the bad force, like when we are talking about the mind. Okay, we are talking about with the mind, how to uh, interact with the mind. Okay, because when a client comes to you, the first thing you need to do, healing starts from emotions. Right? If, you're, if your doctor tells you, there are some persons that will just, they are just fine. They just have to go to the hospital. Maybe they are having some ache. By the time they get there, the doctor says, ah, we are admitting you, you can't go back home. Your cancer, no, 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 no. Just give them 30 minutes, they will fall sick. They were very sick before. Emotion. That is why what we do, what we do, interaction, what I do, rather, interaction, Chinese medicine, when you come to me, I'll direct you to God. Daddy said, what can you do for us? Daddy, if you can remember, I said, Daddy, I have nothing to do for you. It's only God that can do everything. Because I don't depend, I don't feel that it is me that is doing it. I don't feel that it's my strength. Because I know, I can, it's just pressure that I'm stimulating. And if God don't give that power for it to work, it will not work. Let me tell you, I have, I have many colleagues that do, they would stimulate. They even know more than me, but it doesn't work. It don't work. They ask me, how do you do your own? I say, it's God Almighty. That's why if they have clients, like one I've been calling me since. This is my senior. They will call me, but, and they will call me to go and take care of their clients. So you see me here, there, here, there, here, there, and all of it. So the mind, I do yoga, but I meditate in the Lord. Like I was saying yesterday, that's the only thing that I have those age that God gave to us. He said you shall meditate upon the word of God day and night. That is night, yin, day, yang. Morning, day means morning, afternoon, and night. Meditate the word of God. Let this yin and yang don't confuse us. It just... Uh, a theory. What it actually means is what? Day and night. Okay? Positive and negative. If you do not have positive and negative in this wire, it will not generate uh, uh, light, current. Am I right? That's your body. That's what you have to answer. Let me tell us something. When you are working on a man or someone on the legs, okay? Whatever thing you do on this leg, it affects this leg. So, true or false? We have seen it practically. If this leg is numb, and this, these two legs are numb, and I walk on this leg and activate it, and it's no longer numb, the person begins to feel pain, automatically this leg will feel pain. I explained to them, and when we went to practical, we saw it. That's if you are treating a stroke patient, sometimes you know that the paralyzed side has lost strength, so the strength goes to one, right? Sometimes when you are working on this one, the strength can shift to this other one, and you see this other one will not function. I've seen someone that I have worked on, this other leg that was paralyzed became normal, and then this other leg became paralyzed. See, God made them two in the beginning. My own traditional Chinese medicine, I link it to the scriptures because that's where I belong. That's where I belong. Just in the scriptures. 
Okay, because I believe that if I do it the way, the Bible says, train up a child in the way it should go, that when he grows, he will not depart from it. That's where I was trained, and that's where I'm going. And I cannot change myself because that is how I've been trained. So I will not because of TCM and go negative. No way. I must go positive because it is light and the light of God is shining all over me. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Daddy. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I, mine is a question, but let me also uh, add to what it is saying. I have come across this for a long time, but I've never had time to believe it. Because I've always focused on the product medicine and all that. Outside of this country and within. I know of one doctor, Nena, a few years back, with all this machine we use around, she brought it to our house, tested her for a lot of medicine. So we took them. After a while, I became disinterested. But I wanted to speak about the, the Chinese uh, alternative medicine and all that you are speaking about as it relates to yoga. I know that it has to do with abstract science and that is what actually discouraged me. But I am encouraged by your position that you look up to God continually. Because whether we like it or not, yoga is associated with abstract science. And my family, my wife is here, she doesn't even know why the man who used to teach us yoga, stop coming. I decided to stop. Because it's just like a water, a body of water, you ask somebody, come, he's coming and it's not deep. He keep coming and you are taking him to where it's deep. Gradually, mm. you mm. take him into the deeper yes. side of the water. Mm. So sometimes I don't want to gamble. It's like playing with your salvation. Because you get there, you will not even know. You will get lost. Exactly. Uh, so, the question I wanted to ask is you just said in the room, one should not be walking barefooted. What about in the sun outside, where it is said also in the same alternative medicine that it heals, that there are healing elements in walking with your barefoot on the sun outside? Okay. And some of us sometimes it can be so discouraging because if somebody sees you walking barefooted outside, he thinks you are in an occultic, you know, and people are so. You know, uh, the white garment churches and all that. Mm. So what is your take about walking okay. barefooted on the sun? That is very correct. You can get sharp sand into your bucket and place in your sitting room and then keep mashing it. But don't use, don't walk on your towels with barefoot. Sharp sand, you know, in your bucket and now when it comes to the, like what you said, you telling somebody to teach you about yoga is like you telling somebody come and teach me the word of God and whatever thing the person say you believe the person can come and turn it upside down no, there are physical, there are physical training about yoga. that is your, your body, your body that is what I am saying so not, that's, not waiting, so that is what I am saying what, whatever thing you are doing, that physical whatever, is it written? Is it in the scripture? Is did when the Bible said physical meditate? Exercise, physical exercise. I know there are physical exercise. Yes. Now, when you are adding yoga to exercise, you know there, there are some yoga you do breast exercise, right? It's a different thing, okay? Then all the other physical thing that you do. Now, if you want to do yoga. Do yoga with the scripture. If you want to do exercise, do exercise. Es except you are looking for trouble. If you want to do yoga, How? do yoga with the script with your scriptures. Meditation with your scriptures. If you want to do exercise, do exercise. We know these things. When you put um, what they call it, um, negative and positive together, it will generate light. You know the kind of light you want. When you begin to do yoga and begin to all those their moves, their exercise, you are inviting something. Like you said, it will be taking you inside, into the deep, into the deep, and you go inside. I work more with the Chinese. I've worked with the Chinese for some years now. The last man I worked with, Dr. Liu, okay, when he is stressed, they don't do this treatment, so they don't do it. They will call you, Mr. Robinson, yeah, you. 
Kom, 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 kom. That's, <laughs> you know. <laughs> that maybe he has someone. He will see when he's stressed. He will go to the door. Okay? Or the pillar by his office. And you will see him fold his hand this way. You will be hitting it. Let me go close. If you like, use your head and hit the wall. He will not answer you. Shout his name till tomorrow. He will not answer you. Or is it Tony? If you are traveling with Tony, if maybe you want to get something, or you are tapping for something, he will not answer you when he's doing his yoga. He can be in the vehicle and keep quiet. It's after some hours he will not come to the... You, you wanted to talk to me? You want to talk to me? You want to say something to me? Do you understand? So, we, we know doing traditional Chinese medicine is not bad. But don't go to... See, even the scripture said it now. I set before you life and death. Then you now went down. It's power of his choice. And I said that, that you may choose life. Am I right? So it's your choice. If you want to ch go to that side, it's your what? Choice. If you want to do this or that way, it's your what? Choice. But for me, the Bible says, for me and my household, we shall serve the Lord. That's all. I know where I'm coming from. I know what I am doing. I know why I linked it this way. Because that's my source. I cannot link it to any other source. I have only one source. So I have to link it to the source. That's what I've made it. That's what I am. That's the essence of my existence. So why should I link it to another source? Praise the Lord. So we should be careful. Somebody teaching you something, be careful. For me, whatever thing that is not written does not, should not have effect in my life because it is not written. And I shouldn't do whatever thing that is not written. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. This lecture comes to you from Holiness Revival Movement Worldwide. I speaking, I am the International Director of the Movement, Pastor Paul Rika. I believe this is part of uh, the package in the ministry God has given to us for the world. For you, because the Bible says, Beloved, I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in health even as your soul prospered. I preach the prosperity of the soul. Thank God God also is bringing various people to help us in the prosperity of your health. This lecture is to make you prosper in health. It is pure. Darkness is not there. So the Lord use it to bless your life. In Jesus name. Amen. Holiness Revival Movement is a non-denominational ministry that is giving attention to the totality of man, the wellness of man, spiritual and bodily. Amen? As the scripture says, I pray your whole body and spirit and soul be preserved blameless unto the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Faithful is he who promised, who also is able to do it. Praise the name of the Lord. The Lord bless you. More package awaits you in holiness of our movement. Get connected to us and listen more. You will be getting new, new things as God sends them from heaven. And the Holy Spirit inspires them among us on the earth. Thank you. God bless you.